Hi, possibilities. We're making a wreath for St. Patrick's Day using Dollar Tree items. So, let's get started. We're going to use some St. Patrick's Day table scatter and some party favor coins. Um, some leftover ornaments that I had. Some St. Patrick's Day gems. I did not use the acrylic lights on this one. I changed my mind. A four leaf clover wooden plaque in a wreath form. Gold glue, green glue, glue gun, glue sticks, you know. A wood burning kit slash hot knife and this green St. Patrick's Day hat that I got from the Dollar Tree. Let's go. I'm starting off by burning a hole down at the bottom of the clover on the stem um, so that I can attach the plaque to the wreath form with twisty ties. And right here, I'm just going to secure the plaque to the wreath form, of course, with the twisty ties. Right here I'm just going to use the green paint for the clover and once you've completed painting the plaque you just want to set it aside to let it dry and we're going to add beads to some of the ornaments. I forgot to list the beads at the beginning part of the video. So while we're waiting on the plaque to dry, I'm just gonna go ahead and start gluing these beads to the ornaments. So now that our plaque is dry, I'm just gonna take this gold paint and just paint around the edges of the clover. Okay, so I got the Dollar Tree hat and it had that green banner around it. So I'm gonna replace it with some of this crystal rhinestone mesh ribbon wrap that I got. Kind of fancy, huh? <laughs> Bring on those ornaments and the glue gun. Cause now it's time to play the glue game. Let's go. Okay. 
And just an FYI, I decided not to go with the beads that I have on the ornament on the right. I did redo them with some other beads that I like much more than that. Those were cute, but they weren't cute for what I was trying to do. Then I have these coin party favors that I'm going to use to just try to cover up some of that wreath form or whatever. So, because I didn't want the wires showing. So, I just glued a couple of those coins. Well, actually, all the gold coins to it. And now I have these assortment of beads that I got from Pier One. What was that, Tony? Okay, Pier 1. But work with me, people. Everything is not at the Dollar Tree. I'm trying. I'm really, really trying. They had some little cute shamrocks in there. So that's what I'm using, the little green shamrocks. I think they're so cute. And then they had some gold nuggets in there that I glued on there. And I did find some green gems that I had from the Dollar Tree. So this is like a million dollar St. Patrick's Day wreath, okay? And you know, green and gold. What well, we doing? Money and we doing rich stones. Oh, yes, honey. We doing this. Thank you. There's those gems from the Dollar Tree. care for the table scatter too much I just didn't like it so I just decided to just use that little coin right there and glue it in the middle and then I put a green shamrock on top of that and I was done oh my god it was 2 30 in the morning but I was done that's a wrap that's all you're getting from me <laughs> Good night. And here is the completed look. I was not about to open this door and hang this wreath on that door at 2 30 in the morning nope nope <laughs> i don't care how much you beg i wasn't finna do it so what do you guys think do you like it <laughs> you don't well guess what i don't like it either but hey i just found out i was irish like three minutes ago so give me a break and as always remember anything is possible with tony Bye.